my name's Darren, um, and uh, I got in the news recently because uh, my snake at my neighbour's cat. And on that day, um, I came in, opened the door, it was a lovely sunny day, squashed, and then made a way out. She went to her usual place, halfway down a garden, which is the apple tree, um, and stopped. And I was doing stuff on the computer, um, and just generally got in from work, tidying up a few things and stuff. If she stops for more than 20, 25 minutes, she won't go anywhere, she won't move. Um, and she was there for about half an hour, 35, 40 minutes. Um, I went out with her to do some where there's a bit of garden and a bit of weeding um, and then I came back in kept looking out the window it was starting to get a bit dark just after nine um, I went down to pick her up and she was already making her way back in and uh, when she came in she had a, a huge lump inside of her and I, I obviously knew she didn't have that when she went out so um, my best guess was a cat it was, a, it was a nice Saturday afternoon. I knew I'd get a knock at the door. Um, I decided at work all morning what, what I was going to tell him. Um, and uh, yeah, then he knocked my door on Saturday. I said, um, I think my snake's at your, at your cat. And uh, his reaction was kind of strange. Uh, it, 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 I think he sort of knew. And he said, oh, can I, can I see her? And I said, yeah, come on in. Um, he came in. Squash was just curled up in the tank, because that's what she does. You know, when she's had a, had a meal, they just wait for the bulk to go away. Um, and she was curled up in a box. He said, oh, I, I, I didn't know you had a snake. Martin went out into the garden. Uh, he sort of like went straight down to the tree. So he obviously knew that. Um, and he mentions himself that, that there was a sort of commotion that he could see from his window, but couldn't really make it out. Um, walked around my garden for quite a bit. He came in, I, I, obviously I offered him a cup of tea. Um, and he sat here. He asked me um, if, 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 uh, if his friend in the RSPCA could come in and scan the snake, because his cat had a, a microchip. And uh, I thought that was fine. Um, I said I agreed to that um, and just at the end of the conversation just as he was walking before he started to walk away he mentioned the police I, I don't know how it got on to it um, and I, I sort of thought well I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't expecting that when his, his friend and I believe it was his friend he was in the RSPCA I believe it was his friend because of the way they used first names it's, it's just sort of rolled off the tongue sort of thing um, he knocked my door and um, he said, oh, I've come to, to scan your snake. And I said, well, actually, I've had a thought about it. And um, Martin's mentioned the police. And until I know where I legally stand, I'm, I'm not going to allow you to scan the snake. And he said, OK, fair enough. He walked away. Um, obviously, five, ten minutes later, the both of them knocked the door. Um, Martin was saying, uh, uh, well, when, when are you going to find out? where you legally stand, and I said, well, I don't know. <laughs> it went back and forth, and, you know, he kept trying to explain the police thing away. And then his friend had, had an idea. And he said, um, how about if you scan the snake, and uh, you know whether it's chipped, when you find out legally where you stand, and if you're okay with it, um, then you can let us know. But you're the only one that knows. 
so I scanned squash she wasn't happy about it um, and a chip came up I walked down to my left minute front door um, I said right uh, I'll tell you now I think it's fair to tell you that there is a chip inside of her um, and it, it, this was probably about four or five in a, on a nice hot sunny Saturday evening and Martin broke down crying and that was the last I heard of him until until the, the evening post on, on, the, on the Saturday morning.